Prosecutors today say a local neurosurgeon was driving more than 130 miles an hour on the I-65 service road when he crashed his car, killing his passenger, a South Alabama medical school student. The doctor is now charged with manslaughter. Nicolette Schleisman was in court today as we learn new and shocking details about this case. The speed in this case is something Jonathan Nakla's attorney disputes. He says the car's equipment that reported him going 138 miles per hour is not reliable. As they said in court today, the car flipped. Once the tire is no longer in contact with the surface, it is no longer indicating the forward speed of the car, but only the rotation of the tire, so you don't know how fast the car is going. Nakla appeared via a video feed from Metro Jail. We couldn't see him on the feed, but we know the judge set bond at $200,000. Nakla surrendered his passport and must get permission to leave the state if he posts bond. The crash happened August 1st on the West I-65 service road. Investigators said Nakla swerved to avoid another car. They also say he was drunk, although today the DA's office said it's still waiting on the final test results. Samantha Thomas was a passenger in the car. She and Nakla lived at the same apartment complex. There's a tragedy here, and we're so sorry everyone has uh, uh, had to go through all this. Today, Nakla pleaded not guilty through his attorney. He's scheduled to be back in court September 2nd. At Government Plaza, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. And just moments ago, Nakla posted bond and was released from Metro Jail. Now, his attorney says he was driving an Audi Spider similar to this one. It is a top end vehicle that can go zero to 60 in under four seconds. A new one sells for nearly $190,000. We broke this story today on the News 5 app. You can get alerts sent right to your phone by downloading our app for free on Google Play and in the App Store. And here's the video again. This is just uh, about two minutes ago, uh, Dr. Nakla, again charged with manslaughter, walking out of Metro Jail after posting a $200,000 bond and surrendering his passport.